What's up, everybody? Nonpon here, and I don't know. I kind of just woke up from a nap and said, "Yeah, it's it's time to make this video." What I really think about the snow break, because honestly, guys, I don't. I kind of keep my opinion of the snow break to myself, more or less. When it comes to my type of content. I'd rather make content that's more helpful than opinionated. Opinions are pretty powerful on YouTube, right? You have masses that can agree with you, masses that can disagree with you, and regardless of it's that or vice versa, still interactions that help boost any YouTube channel. Uh, which I could definitely do. Maybe I might do it, I don't know. If you guys like this, type of content but let me just be real with y'all just you guys sitting in your chair or your couch watching this video have some some talk time with youtube frogs okay so snow break released and honestly it was a pretty good release there is a lot of fair share of gacha games that release in a very broken state the servers are all wonky and whatnot like power of fantasy <laughs> and you know for the most part it was functional and it worked fine sure it was pretty bare bones at the beginning but i think the reason for that is because people were still kind of low level and catching up to get to the end game of snowbreak right whatever end game there really was and then there came their their first update patch with Shinshin and Cyrus, and it was a it was a story patch. It was cute. It was nice. Had some new modes introduced, like Flash of Honor. But I think I think it was at this point though, after the first update, um, for some reason I don't know why. I really don't know. It was meta to just hate on Snowbreak. And I didn't really understand because when a game is released, at least nowadays, very rare for the full game to always come out. Right? And I mean, I think we're all used to that for now. Same thing with gacha games. I mean, I kind of understand at this point that they have this drip feed strategy of content coming up at a very slow pace to keep people's attention. And you know, with stamina and stuff, keeping your attention on the game more, it's kind of like a common strategy. Unless you're like, you know, a big gotcha company like Koyoverse and whatever that can put out content like every month or something. I mean, they have the money to do that. But yeah, I didn't really understand. I didn't understand why people were hitting on it because the one word that always popped up with Snowbreak was potential, 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 potential. This is the problem with being too unique. Too unique. Because Snowbreak is very unique. It's one of its first of its kind. It's a anime third person shooter gotcha. Maybe there were other ones that came out like this. There are, let me know. As far as I know, it was a one of a kind thing. There's nothing to compare it to. So people revert to the word potential. And the word potential can also be very toxic because then you can compare it or try to say you could do so much more in the boundary of like imagination, like you're jumping down the rabbit hole. Like this game could be like the division. This game could be like Call of Duty Zombies. This game could be like, you know, like any shooter game that comes to your mind because it's the first of its kind. And because of that, people just took the word potential and just kept forklifted to higher and higher heights, you know, like the top shelf. And I'm sorry, but I I don't think CSUN is anything but that. Definitely not big enough to do that. You know, I think and the thing about CSUN, guys, let me just be real with you. Uh, as someone who has played their games and kind of knows a bit about them and has talked to their staff a little bit, from way back then um there's there's two types 
of Nagachi companies. Maybe there's more, I don't know. But there's types that will copy a strategy and try to make it more than what it is. Maybe like combine two tropes together, make it more than what it has to be, and just roll with that. So instead of like being, you know, white bread, it's wheat bread now, you know? And CSUN, instead of trying to compete with other IPs that could probably blow them out of the water, you know, um, they instead try to make things unique, more different, more standalone. So there's not really much competition to really, uh, you know, conflicted. That's not a very good word to use, but you kind of get what I'm coming from. Um, a part of me actually thinks that they released Snowbreak early because they knew Duet Netabus was coming out eventually. Because if there's any game that could probably compare to Snowbreak, it might be that one. Then again, Duet Netabus is more like Warframe, so, you know, I don't really think it's gonna be like Snowbreak at all or be like the same kind of competition because Duet Netabus is like copying Warframe when Snowbreak is just trying to be itself, right? So, I don't really care. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway. Let's go back to the word potential. People kept taking this word, going the mile with it. Next update comes out. They add new open world stuff, right? That people asked for. People wanted to be more open world, more open lobbies to interact with. And they did it with the limitations of the game. After the second update with Haru that had the open world map. And people really didn't use it that much, you know? Because the thing is, with an open world system, in a gotcha environment, it just becomes an errand. You know, you wake up in the morning, you grab your newspaper, you make your coffee, you go to the grocery store, maybe get a haircut. That's what an open world gotcha is like for dailies. That's what I don't understand. People love open world stuff, but once you're done with the open world, it's just the, it's just the husk of errands. That's all it becomes eventually. And that's what happened with Snowbreak's second update with Haru, with the open world map. Go shoot some rocks. Go kill some enemies. You know, I don't know. And then they took that and went even further with it in the summer event. Now you can fish. Which I thought was pretty cool, actually. And by the time the summer out, uh, event came out, people just lost interest because... Uh, I'm going to be real with you guys. Gotcha gamers are ADHD. Me included. I don't know. I... Just move on to the next thing, you know? It's fine. Um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. And the other thing is that people want it cover in the game. This is more of a CN thing, all right? A CN thing. People kept joking because of the, remember again, the potential of Snowbreak. Other shooter games have cover. You have to have cover in your video game. And Snowbreak doesn't have cover? Can we even take you guys seriously? That's what it was like in the beta. So what did they do? They added a cover system. No one uses the cover system. At all. No one uses it. It's pointless. And you could say it's bad or whatever, but the thing is, you have skills that you constantly have to use anyway. You're not going to use them behind cover. You know? That's what I mean, is that when people keep saying potential of Snowbreak, they just keep elevating their heights to the ceiling to the heavens you know it's crazy i don't know man i don't know i think after the summer one snowbreak definitely started to take a nosedive people got bored they said you know samey content nothing to do you know and honestly that's in my opinion that's just the lifespan of a gacha game is that it has its highs and lows and maybe you shouldn't really only play one gacha game maybe play something else that has content for you at the same time or maybe take a break. I don't know. Guys, let me let me just give you some advice that I had to take at least. Maybe you don't need it. It's okay to cap on your stamina in gacha games. It's okay to not play when you don't want to play. You should never feel locked in into a mobile game to play on a regular basis according to their schedule. Okay? No break right now has 
what, 240 stamina? So it's 24 hours, you have to play at least once a day. If you don't want to play once a day, don't play. If you don't even want to farm the shards or do multiplayer, you don't have to. You don't have to commit your time to something that you don't want to do. And if anything, it's going to burn yourself out if you keep doing that. Maybe deep down there's a lot of people who actually like this game but kept playing so much that they just said, I'm I'm done, you know? And, and that's that's what happens, you know? I feel like people who enjoy games a lot get burned out very easily, especially in MMOs. I could be wrong. Tell me if I am. Probably. Anyway. Then the test banner came out. No break. Got some titties. I don't know. Started to do more of the fan service. Like a little bit of fan service. Kind of worked out. Um, Honestly, you guys may not believe me when I say this, but I kind of always saw this fan service coming. I always saw it coming. It's not the fact that Tess came out or Katya came out or all these characters with these fan service and then they pivot their strategy. They probably definitely did like at a round table to think about what works better. But guys, they always knew fan service would work. They made Girl Cafe Gun, which is a huge fan service game. Yeah, it's offline. But they're no stranger than this. They definitely knew what was going to happen. And I think what they were trying to do is trying to set this tone with these characters in a more mature way and less fan service and goofy to help us get to know and like not mature of these characters, but get like warm up to them, right? When you warm up to a character, that's not like fan service at the start because imagine like meeting someone for the first time and it's like oh fan service out the gate you know some people like that some people don't but they kind of just let things cooked for a bit they like them bake in the oven right and then eventually you find your favorite characters and you learn more about them like Enya for some reason and then <laughs> sorry um, and then eventually you get that fan service you want for that character you start to like and then you're like, oh shit, I really enjoyed this. People enjoy fan service for characters they enjoy the most, as opposed to just it coming out the gate like a zoo of wild animals. You know, I could be wrong about that. I don't play many fan service games outside of this one, I guess. If anyone here is an Azure Lane professional, let me know. But uh, anyway, I kind of always knew this would happen. Fan service would happen. And it's working. It definitely is. And that's fine, you know? And if anything, it, I guess it helps the burnout a little bit, maybe it's like, it makes you understand that you don't really, how do I phrase this? It's, it's going to sound bad, but it makes you feel at least at ease to know that Snowbreak can make decent funding off skins, cosmetics, like for the guns and stuff, and just that alone is very comforting, right? Knowing that people care more about the characters than they care about the actual gameplay. That's bad, though. <laughs> I don't know, right? It's like it, that's what's happening. You see, it's 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 a double edged sword. It's like there's more fan service that people enjoy and there's new story. But we're not exactly getting new stuff, guys. We're not getting many new modes. That's the problem. Right? And that's how I'm starting to feel. Do I mind fan service? Absolutely not. But I definitely don't buy every single skin. I buy the ones I enjoy. Right? And what's happening is that this game is starting to feel like uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, which for those who have been with me for a long time, you know I played that game a lot. And the same thing happened with that game drip fed content almost nothing new but here's a bunch of cosmetics every two weeks or something and that was the new content you know new outfits and it works i hate to say it but it works especially in a whale-like environment or a gotcha environment it's very effective and that's kind of sad right kind of sad when you realize that the effective marketplaces off skins and stuff and not actual gameplay i 
really hope they can introduce more new modes that's fun and they can reinvent the wheel a bit. But right now, you know, even Katya's Katya's patch was uh, phenomenal, but there was nothing new about it. There was Katya, new character. She was very fun. Maybe if they introduced new character gameplay, yeah, like with weapons, then yeah, we, we might enjoy it more, but that involves getting the character, so I don't know. Maybe there could be a four-star version of her that people can enjoy. Anyway, I'm going on a long tangent here. I did not expect this video to go that long. But ultimately right now, Snowbreak is doing better than it ever has for different reasons. And I guess I guess I'll bring up one more thing. I remember me saying that this game was doing pretty well on CN and people kept saying this game was dying because people say a game is dying and echo that so easily. And now that the game's doing well, they're nowhere to be seen again. That's crazy. You know, I, I said this game was doing well um, back during the, the summer patch with the new Yao skin that people wanted to shut up about. And ever since, you know, it's been going up and up. But people just say the word dead game as soon as they can. That snow break looks like it's going to be pretty well off in the future. I don't expect any gacha game to last forever, though. Eventually, everyone plateaus and goes downhill. I'm not sure. Maybe there's still hope for Epic 7. We'll see. But that's pretty much how I feel, guys, about Snowbreak. I think I'm very happy with it. I'm happy it's doing well. I enjoy it. I play it very casually. And if that's all they want to do is to attract casual players, then that's fine. You kind of have an environment of like, Blue Archive players, Princess Connect players who log in, are used to menuing, maybe doing a little bit of gameplay, and going back to touching grass. But for people who want more gameplay, it may not be for them, you know? So we'll see if that changes in the future, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, if you like this kind of video, let me know. I kind of talk like this a bunch over at streams at Twitch. You can come say hello if you want. I'll be streaming throughout the rest of the week. The new Snowbreak patch. Woo! I'll have fun with that. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a lovely day. And take care.